Shalom, shalom, shalom. I'm your brother Yahya Ezra Ben Levy coming at you again with another quick video. It's something I was thinking about just a few minutes ago and it prompted me to make this video. This is my question I have for you. If you are, if your devotion, your praise, your worship to Yahuwah, the Holy One of Israel, the God of our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, includes you giving the like measure to another. Something is wrong and you are not walking according to the ancient way of our ancestors. Our ancestors in their righteousness only gave praise, worship to Yehovah. They did not couple another name with the name of Yehovah. If you are doing that, you are solely getting that from what the apostle Paul wrote. That's just, it is what it is. Now, I want you to see why to not base, by Old Testament base, Israelites, Hebrews, people of the book, the chosen of Jehovah, flow the way we flow. I want you to join me in the, in um, Psalm 146. Psalm 146, starting at verse 1. Hallelujah. Praise ye Yehoah. Praise Yehoah, O my soul. While I live, will I praise Yehoah. I will sing praises unto my God while I have any being. Put not your trust in princes, nor in the son of man, in whom there is no hope, um, excuse me, no help. His breath goes forth, he returneth to his to his earth, in that every day his thoughts perish. Happy is he that has the God of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in Jehovah his God, which made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that therein is, which keepeth truth forever, which executeth judgment for the oppressed. Which giveth food to the hungry. Yehoah looseneth the prisoner. Yehoah openeth the eyes of the blind. Yehoah raiseth them that are bowed down. Yehoah loveth the righteous. Yehoah preserveth the stranger. He reviveth the fatherless and widow. But the way of the wicked he turneth upside down. Yehovah shall reign forever, even thy God, O Zion, unto all generations. Praise ye, Yehovah. Hallelujah. I, I chose that because I think it is important to see the mindset of our ancestors in their righteousness. They were devoted to Yehovah. They worshiped only Yehovah. They exalted only Yehovah. They did not couple another name with the name of Yehovah. See, this is where many of our people get this from. I want you to follow me to the New Testament. And I want you to see where this is coming from. It's a classic greeting made by the Apostle Paul. And since so many people deem his words to be the words of God, that's why they do it. Now, this is 1 Corinthians 
chapter 1, verse 3. Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. That is what Paul said. And many of our brothers and sisters are out there greeting one another. Blessings by the Most High in Christ unto you. May the Most High in Christ bless you. May the Most High in Christ smile upon you. That is blasphemy. I'm just going to be honest. Now, you could disagree with me. And as I said before, I have no problem with you disagreeing with me. You have the rights to. Let me show you something. This is called the priestly blessing. This is the priestly blessing or the um, Aaron, um, benediction, Aaron benediction. This is Numbers chapter 6. I want to start at verse 22. And Jehovah spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron and unto his sons, saying, On this wise ye shall bless the children of Israel, saying unto them, May Yehovah and Yahabashai bless you and keep you. May Yehovah and Yahabashai make their face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. May Yehovah and Yahabashai lift up his countenance unto thee and give thee peace. And they shall put our names on the children of Israel and we will bless them. Nope. It does not say that. So why are we going around inserting a strange name that is not present in the text? Why do we have to think we're so clever to choose to add and take away from the text? Now allow me to recite it, to say it, to read it properly as it was given by Jehovah himself. Starting at verse 22. And Jehovah spake unto Moshe, saying, Speak unto Aaron and his sons, saying, On this wise ye shall bless the children of Israel, saying unto them, Jehovah bless thee and keep thee. Jehovah make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. Jehovah lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. And they shall put my name. They shall put my name upon the children of Israel and I will bless them. Whose name? Jehovah's name. He said, and I will bless them. He didn't say I and Christ will bless them. I or my son will bless them. Jehovah said, put my name on them and I will bless them. So why in the world are we going around saying, may Jehovah or may the most high in Christ bless you. May Christ bless you. We were given the formula by Jehovah himself. On how we are to. How the blessing is to be given. Jehovah gave the formula. So why in the world do we think we have the rights to change it? Who told you you can do that? And I'm telling you where you're getting it from. You got it from Paul. You got it from Paul. Because let's just be honest about it. You didn't get it from Jesus. You didn't get it from him. He supposed to be your Christ. He supposed to be your master. You got it from Paul. Because many of you follow Paul. Many of you quote Paul. You say, let us go to the word of God. And 90% of the time, you go to the letters of Paul. You don't go to the words of Yehovah himself. Shoot. You don't even go to the words hardly of the person who you say is your Christ. You go to Paul the apostle. 
You go to his word because you deem his words to be infallible, to be the words of God. Even though in his letters, he say, this is not a commandment. This is me or this is my opinion. I'm given this. And you still deem it the word of God, even though he said in his epistle, this is not a commandment from God. I am saying this. And you still say it's the word of God. So my brothers and my sisters, I'm telling you. Return. Back to Yahweh. Repent. Acknowledge your transgression and your sin. The sin of coupling another with Yahuwah as they're deemed equal. You have made God a man. You have made God a man and you said he had to die in order to forgive you so you can go to heaven. Come on. That is not what Yahuwah gave to his people. That's not what Yahuwah said to our ancestors. He gave us a land. He did not give us heaven. My brothers and sisters, give Yah his due praise. It don't couple another name with his. It was Yahuwah that woke you up. It wasn't Yahuwah in Christ. It wasn't Christ that woke you up. Yet you wake up in the morning and you give Christ praise. And Yehovah stands there getting vexed and vexed more and more. Because you grieve him and vex him to his soul when you rob him of his glory. When you exalt another name above his. And even worse, when you exalt another name with his. Yehovah's name is the highest name. Not no Christ, not no Yehobashah, not no Yeshua, not no Jesus. Jesus' name is not above every name. How is Yeshua's name? How is the Son name above the Father? Come on, my people, wake up, repent, return back to Yehovah, your Father and your God, your true Father and your God. He is the Creator, not Christ. Look back. Do a full study. Go back to the beginning and look at who your God is. Take a long journey in the scriptures of Israel and see, challenge yourself to see, can you go on supporting a faith that contradicts what's written in the Tanakh? And I say it, I say it boldly. It contradicts the Tanakh. If you have a faith in God that includes another to be paired with him. If you believe Yehoah has to put on flesh. He has to come down from his throne. He has to put on human flesh. He has to die. Shed his blood for sin. Then. Resurrect. Then ascend and go back. I'm going to tell you now you're out of order. According to the Tanakh. Because you can't find nowhere. In Tanakh. Where Yehovah says. Any of that. That he will do. Nowhere. Do you see Yehovah. Tell any prophet, this is what I myself will do. I will become a man. I will be my own son. I will be a Mashiach, my own Christ. I will die for sin and I will resurrect so that you can live with me forever in heaven. People, wake up. Return to Yehovah. Return back to your father and your God, your king, your redeemer, your healer. Return back to him. Tell Yehovah you are dead wrong in that which you've done before his face. He tells you in the Torah, do not, do not bring no other God before his face. 
That's what we're guilty of. We're guilty of coupling another God with him. We're guilty of saying things about him that is not so. Nowhere in the Tanakh do you see any of the prophets addressing Yehovah as a trinity. Nowhere do you see the terminology in the Tanakh, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. Nowhere. Go back to the Psalms that I read from the beginning and see how they exalted Yehovah. We, they sung songs to Yehovah. They gave praise, worship, and adoration to Yehovah. Yet here we are, many of our people out there singing songs to Jesus, talking about he's the rock, he's the healer, he's the king. But we see our ancestors saying the same thing. But it was talking about the son of God. They weren't talking about no Yehoshua. They were singing songs to Yehovah, the Holy One of Israel, the God of our fathers. Repent and return back to Yehovah. And in returning back to Yehovah, you must understand that includes Torah. You can't escape it. You can't escape it. If you embrace Yehovah, you embrace Torah as well. Shalom.